The amount of times I say, I will murder you in your sleep is probably too many. <laughs> right, but you know what I'll say to that? She never has. That's true. And that's love. Hey, it's Billy. And Pat. And we're here with our friends Becky and Chris. Uh, they are fellow YouTubers, they are married, they live in Buffalo, they are cool, they make amazing videos. Amazing Beautiful videos. videos. Thanks guys. Um, you're welcome. We wanted to sit down with them today and kind of compare notes about what it's like to make content and work with your spouse or your partner or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. Um, because it's really great sometimes and it's really challenging sometimes and these guys understand what that's like. We met Becky and Chris about a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. Our so year friendship anniversary mm -hmm. was like the beginning of September. Yes, we, we met them over at Typical Coffee in Buffalo, which is I feel like an ideal spot for us to like mm -hmm. bond over you guys moving to Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's nice to have other vloggers in the city here. Yeah. yeah. You kind of missed the point that Becky was stalking, Becky and I were stalking we you were guys. Stalking. Well, I didn't want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we came from Vancouver before here and we were sort of a little bit apprehensive at first to come to Buffalo because we didn't know anybody, we had no ties to the city. Mm -hmm. yep. and, I knew uh, nothing about Buffalo when we moved here. And everybody yeah. you talk to, they're like, Buffalo, and they turn their nose up at it. But yeah. uh, you know, it made us a little bit concerned. But then mm -hmm. you know, Becky started, you know, Googled Buffalo vloggers, and of course you're- The first thing I thought of when you were like, <laughs> maybe we'll go to Buffalo, I was like, Buffalo, and you guys were the per first people that popped yeah. out. You were the first impression of Buffalo. Oh, yeah, God. I was like, oh, Buffalo like, looks nice, and these people are like, look really nice. And yeah. so yeah, and then wow. I was like, we're gonna be friends. So can you guys tell the uh, anyone that's new to your channel, like how what is your channel about and how did you get started? Like what made you decide to start a channel? So it's really interesting you should ask what our channel is about because this is a collab video. So on our channel, we're actually gonna be making a video later about how to find your niche on YouTube. You guys are very niche, but we're kind of like all over the place. So we do mostly vlogs about our life. So like lifestyle, travel, we do like home decor videos, helicopter videos, travel videos. Uh, photography and video tutorials. So it's kind of just like a channel about our life and all of the things mm. that we're interested in. And we started our YouTube channel in 2016 when we were moving to Vancouver and we were gonna be there for a year and we decided to document all of our adventures that we were gonna have. We we're like, we'll vlog, we'll make videos, and then that will kind of push us out to do activities on the weekends. You know, what we've always kind of said is as long as the brand is what we're into and what we're doing, then it's always gonna come off as authentic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think a lot yeah. of people try to fall, they fall into the trap of, they create content that caters to their viewers and what mm. their viewers want. And then, you know, fast forward a year, two years later, and all of a sudden they're making content that's completely diverged from what they yeah. usually send mm -hmm. out what they're interested in. Yeah. yeah. And it and it sometimes can translate uh, as inauthentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely. We, we've kind of always kept the mantra that, you know what, let's take a step back and let's just always look at the big picture and as long as the content we're generating is true to us, then mm -hmm. can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And if people don't like it, well, fuck those people. Yeah. So when you guys are making videos together, like what is that process like for you? Like do you have a set role of like, I do this and I do this or like how do you, how do you manage creating your content? <laughs> I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of already knew the answer. But. Well, it's really funny because when I, so originally in our relationship, Chris was the video guy. Mm -hmm. He started out shooting video, I started out shooting photos, and then somehow the roles kind of got all put on me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that tends to happen. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Pat. Well, when we start, <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, but it's okay. So Chris works full time. So mm -hmm. that's like one of the challenges that we find is that mm -hmm. I do have to do everything because I work from home and I was self-employed. Now I work part time, but mm -hmm. Chris works full time and sometimes longer than full time hours. Yeah. So he doesn't have time to make videos. Mm -hmm. So um, so I do them and uh, I'll do the thumbnail and the promotion. And But if Chris is around, he'll, he'll step in and help or and you like, sometimes we go dual laptops and I'll do the audio while you continue to mm -hmm. do other things. Or if we have like any like, grading. yeah, or you'll do the grading or like if we have any like difficult After Effects animations, mm -hmm. yeah. like I'll be like, Chris, you do that and then I'll finish like grading this video. So mm -hmm. yeah. it is a team effort, but a lot of the times Chris isn't around because of work, so I tend to yeah. do them. Yeah. Well, they're, I mean, you guys have to subscribe to their channel because their videos are so slick. Like your production value is like super high. I feel Thanks. like we turn our camera on and we're like, talk monkeys for, yeah. for 10 minutes and just chop it up. I mean, you have to go watch their stuff. It's like, it's incredible. Well, yeah, something you do we like, work. Thanks. Something we love about your guys' channel is that your personalities are so like 
big and you guys are so funny that like you can just sit down and talk in front of the camera and it's entertaining because we're boring we can't we're do so that <laughs> yeah we're well, like we had to make <laughs> b-roll and like whatever uh, honestly everything that you just talked about like the the skills that you have to like you know whether it's the audio or mm -hmm. you listed a lot of things that we don't pay attention to in video yeah. and it's just kind of nice to see that there are different ways to make videos and content for youtube and social media because mm -hmm. we have we delegate out to each other like certain tasks that we do for video but it's not even it's like a different it's not a different level it's a different like way of strategy of strategy yeah. and i think it's nice that there's like variety out there now yeah, of totally. like what you guys can kind of partner up on and how you tackle those projects mm -hmm. it's not all the same one of the things that we worked on together is like i'm a fast memorizer and because i'm the one mostly like shooting and editing the videos i already kind of know like we need to say this 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 like these are the bullet points so i'll sort of like say to billy shorthand like oh just say like a hello thing and then a where we're at thing and then what are we doing thing and then toss to me and then i'll do this and he's like what? <laughs> I, I yeah. can't even I'm like, remember. Just do those I don't 16 even, bullets. Go. I don't even have Pat's phone number memorized. <laughs> how bad I am with my memory. So once he goes beyond two tasks I have to do in a video, I'm like, you gotta guide me through like in the moment and be like, okay, now we're gonna do this part. Like I can't. And then I don't want to disappoint him. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel like for a long time I felt like I was disappointing him by not being able to keep up with what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And once we communicated about it, it just made it a lot easier. What I find is where Becky's primarily in the role of like producing everything and doing all the pre-production stuff. Mm -hmm. She has the bullet point. She She's the one who came up with the idea. She's the one who had the bullet point list of all the stuff that she wants to say or mm -hmm. wants us to say. Mm -hmm. I get home from work, it's like, okay, this is, this is the premise of the video. We go, okay, I agree, that looks like a good topic. And, but she'll already have it like sort of ingrained in her mind. Yeah. And then what it turns into a lot of times I find is, boom, camera comes up and she just nails it first go. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, and then she'll say, okay, anything out of like, <laughs> so there's a lot of videos. There's a lot of videos where it's like Look. basically I find that she's just like killing it. I'm just like mm -hmm. in the background like yeah. But I think it's because <laughs> it, like <laughs> the video is already edited in my head yes. before we start filming. You know the outcome, exactly. so you're filling it in to get it. I feel like yeah. I'm just hanging on for the ride. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be yeah. opposite if you came up with the idea and you were like, "This is the video I want to make. This is what I want to say," and then you were like, "Okay, go," and I'd be like, "This." <laughs> like it's it just a great impression of me. Yeah. 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 No. And me every day. <laughs> do you guys? So do you guys make like a full script, or do you just make like notes and just freestyle it? Because it feels very like casual when you guys are making videos. Because it, it is casual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I mean, Pat is the producer, so he goes in and he kind of can outline a few things, and sometimes he'll have like some bullet points in front of us just so we know what to talk about. Yeah. And I appreciate that because I needed that. He didn't really need that. Like, you already have those things in your mind. Yeah, I mean, for me, when we, because our videos tend to be about like one topic, mm -hmm. and you know, we sit down and talk about the topic. So for, for us, when I'm planning it, or, or like I'll tell him, it's basically like, what's the beginning? Like, what? how do you start, and how do you end, and then Maybe you can have some bullet point ideas of like what you want to talk about in the middle. Mm -hmm. But basically it's like, once you start feeling like the conversation's running out of gas, just go to the thing that's the end mm -hmm. that you already know and then it's over. Yeah. Like, so we do a lot of that where like, this is how we'll start yeah. and we know we're just gonna talk and talk and talk. And once we feel like we've said enough, okay, do the last thing to like close it out. Like yeah. what is the point, like wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So like that helps. Cause so some of our videos we're able to talk for a really long time and some of them were really just like this and this and this and we're done. and. But at the end of, you know, you guys watching don't know that we recorded for like 35 minutes versus eight minutes because yeah. you're watching a five minute finished video. Right. But it, sometimes it just takes you a lot longer to, mm -hmm. it's a longer walk yeah. to get yeah. what yeah. you need I don't, to finish things. I don't know if I could be authentic on camera if I wasn't winging it because I'm yeah. really not good at memorizing and saying things. Me too. Yeah, I, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm a teacher. I don't feel like I have anything to like say and explain to people. So it's more of just like me being me and I mm -hmm. I like that but mm -hmm. then it leaves me vulnerable or noticing myself on camera doing stupid things I mean like that's that's authentically me that's not me trying to memorize and say something that's me like how I am it mm -hmm. me yeah it, it me. me yeah <laughs> well I really like having another couple to talk yeah, about YouTube so with mm -hmm. because it is such a such a dynamic between two people to be on camera together and produce and edit and all of that mm -hmm. so it's just nice to have someone else to bounce these things off of and like stress about it together or not stress together. There's a lot of really 
cool and interesting things that come out of being a couple making content together. Yeah. And I think it's like, it's cool for your relationship because it's a different side that you get to see of your partner mm -hmm, and yeah. whether you can work together or not. So that's really interesting. But then also having somebody else to be like, oh my God, like Chris did this thing and it was really embarrassing or like t to just like kind of vent or talk about the struggle. Someone else yeah. gets it. Someone exactly. else gets it. Yeah. 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 It's not that you do anything that pisses me off. No, Basically, right. Pat and Becky complaining about me. <laughs> yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. No, yeah. no big deal. I'm okay. I'm a martyr. I'm a martyr. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. You guys want to tell them about your channel a little bit? How they can oh, find you? Oh yeah, their you channel and... is so good. Yeah. Where do people find it? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get these guys to link our channel up in the cards mm -hmm. and in the description box below. But you can go over to Becky and Chris. It's B-E-C-K-I. Not Y or I E. Yeah, when she was she was a rebel back when her teenage years and decided to just arbitrarily spell it. Drop the I. Y and put an I. Wow. When I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that is our channel. Oh, and also if you are interested in learning about photography and video, we have a Facebook group called Pixel and Lens. So we basically have like challenges, share threads, uh, we post tutorials there, just have conversations with other creators and try to like help them um, improve their photography and video skills. So they're good at that. Really great. Mm -hmm. really great. Some bots. Mm -hmm. I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, we filmed a video uh, on Becky and Chris's channel, so make sure you click over and watch that video too, and um, subscribe. Like, subscribe, and click the bell so you get notified every time they upload a video. Did I do it right? Close. That's close. Yeah. That's close. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, you, will you take it, take it out on on that? On your do you want normal? us to do it? Yeah. Okay. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. <gasps> Whoa. Bye. That's gonna be an ugly one for okay. me. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, Thanks, we did guys. it. Thank you for swooping in with the camera, Dave. It's weird, but the videos that I'm always the most like nervous during, like this one, I was like, what am I saying half the time?